This tutorial is going to show you how to look picture perfect for a fun night out, especially if there's going to be lots of photos taken. You want to look your best. We're going to start off with face primer. Here I'm using La Boss Pro. One pump is enough for the entire face. Can you see how shiny my forehead looks? Just dab a little bit of primer in that area and it'll instantly mattify the skin. This will create a dry surface, helping your makeup last longer. Also, don't forget to prime the nose. Not only will it reduce oil, but it'll also fill in the large pores, giving you that flawless finish. Moving on to foundation, here I'm using Tant Edel Ultra Oil Free Foundation. This foundation will last up to 14 hours. You want to stick with oil free foundation when you're going out and evenly apply the foundation on your face. I prefer to start from the center and work my way out. As you can see, I'm making crisscross strokes. By doing so, you'll reduce streaky brush marks. Remember to avoid foundations with high SPF or light refracting properties in a dark place when you're taking photos. This will give your face that ghostly look and it won't match the rest of your body's skin tone. You want your foundation to last long because if you're sweating, the worst thing that can happen is runny makeup. Using Effersern's concealer, I prefer this formula because it's waterproof. Conceal your dark circles. You want the area around your eyes to appear brighter. Also, don't forget to conceal any redness around the nose. You want a bright, even complexion. Lighten up the corners around the mouth. This will make your lip color stand out. Now set the foundation and concealer with powder using dual finish powder. Take the number 7 flat brush. It's very important to have a foundation compact when you're out because you may have to touch up and blot any excess oil. Dab the powder on your face. Pat the foundation on, don't drag the brush. This will keep your foundation and concealer lasting longer. Now head into a dark room real quick and take a quick photo of yourself. Check to see if your face matches the rest of your body. As you can see, my brows are currently undefined. Using Le Crayon Poudre in Sable, fill in your brows. Darken them a bit more than normal because it'll show it better in photos. Using my favorite eyeshadow primer, Ombra Perfector, give it a few good twists and the primer will dispense from the sponge tip applicator. Apply this along your eyelids. This will keep your eyeshadows lasting longer and will also prevent creasing. Using Color Design Eyeshadow and Gaze, Apply this shimmery eyeshadow on the inner thirds of your eyes. This will bring in more light to the eyes. Using a neutral eyeshadow, here I'm using Color Design Eyeshadow in Wear It Well. Apply this color along the outer corners. You want to create subtle shadows around this area. This will add more definition to the eyes. Using Color Design Eyeshadow in Statuesque, this is a matte black color. And using Scotch Tape, remove excess glue. Place the Scotch Tape near the outer corners of the eyes. And using the number 10 brush, load your brush up with the matte black. And apply the eyeshadow right along the tape. The tape is your border. It'll also keep your eyeshadow looking clean and crisp, creating the perfect edge. Photos will take away 20% of the color intensity of makeup, so don't be afraid to pack on more color. Start darkening the black. 
work little by little, and create the desired shape. Peel the tape off when you're ready. Be gentle because the skin around your eyes is extremely delicate. See how easy that was? Now darken the lower lash line. And use an art liner liquid eyeliner. Get as close to the lash line and darken this area. Line your waterline. And repeat the same process to the other eye. And use a tissue to protect your face from eyeshadow fallouts. This eyeliner shape will make your eyes stand out in the dark. Using Shu Uimura Lash Curler, gently curl your lashes. And using Hypnos Drama Volumizing Mascara, check out the shape of this brush. It's curved like an S, and it's two different applications in one. With the S curve facing out, apply the mascara on this way first. This will evenly coat and bring in more volume to your lashes. You seriously won't be needing fake lashes with this mascara. Now flip the wand and use the S curve facing up, apply the mascara. This will lift up your lashes. Don't forget your lower lashes. Now repeat the same process and remember the S-shaped tips. Take the same gaze eyeshadow from the beginning because we can use this as a highlighter. No need to buy a highlighter when you can use light eyeshadows, it does the same trick. Apply this light color along the bridge of your nose for definition. And don't forget the apples of your cheeks. And using Blush Subtil and Cappuccine, apply this color along the cheekbones. This color will show up in photos. And apply the blush along the jawline. This will make your face appear slimmer. And using the same brush again, Run this blush along the sides of the nose. You want to redefine this area because sometimes flash photos can flatten and wash out the face. So you want to redefine the high points on your face. Using Le Crayon in Cherub, line your lips. This will help your lip color last longer, especially if you're eating and drinking. and blend the lip liner. Finish off with Lac Fever in Electric Pink. Check out the tear-shaped wand. It helps with precise application. You can use any lip color you like, but I wanted to work with Electric Pink because in photos, this color stands out the most. So apply your lip color. It's so easy to contour the lips because of the tear-shaped applicator. So now take a final photo before you head out. Check to see if you like the way you look. And if you do, you're finished! Your eyes should definitely stand out among the crowd. This look is elegant but has a hint of edge in it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Good luck. Music by Samantha James. Waves of Change, Cascades Remix. And Rise, Eric Cooper's Remix.